Kada šalit pirvoli Petras cerili Pirvoli Petras cerili Verses 9 and 10 Cchra ati muhlebi Thank you gentlemen Madloba baton neborom Pa es isic gauk šven PowerPoint i You are a chosen generation. Nakhet rogoritz keba tkuen ki cheuli modgmakhart. Bible says you are a royal priesthood. Samepo samgudeloeba. The Bible says you are a holy nation. Rasamos Biblia tsminda erikhart. And we should be declaring praises unto him. Tsilkhvedrili khalki rata gamuatskhadot misi satnoeba. He has called us out of darkness. Vint sibneli dan Into his wonderful light. Tavisi sakuirwali sinatli saken gamo guichmo. Now some of us are called to be pastors. Zogir tebi motso debule bi war trom tsqeb soteklesia. Some are called to be a bishop. Zogi motso debule ro mikos episkopos. Some are called to be teachers and administrators. Zogi motso debule ro kos masaulebeli administratori. Some are called to be prayer warriors. Zogi motso debule ro kos mlotsueli ta am lotsuashi kos mebrzoli. Some are called to be givers and encouragers. Zogi erti motso debule ro gaigos ragatsa da gamkhnevos adamianebi. But there is one ministry that we all have with Every one of us have been made a priest in the royal family of God. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation of people. Now in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, we're going to read about three verses. Verse 17 through 20. And I'm going to zero in on two uh, lines of that those verses. So. Yeah. Ovelive ktis ganaris, romel mats Iesu Kristes meshovit, shegviri gada mokza sherige bis psakhureba. Imitom rom gmertma Kristesi sheriga kvekniereba da ar chautvala mat mati dana shaulebani da mokza sherige bis sitqva. Amgora chuen Kristes elchebi vart da vitom tsavad gmerti shegagonebdet chveni meshovit, Kristes sakhelit ktkhot, sheurigdit gmerts. Notice Two parts that I want you to see in this scripture. He has given to every one of us the ministry of reconciliation. Everyone in this building today, if you are born again, you have been given the ministry of reconciling the world to Christ. And the second thing I want you to notice is that we are ambassadors of Christ. You got it right. We are all ambassadors. I want you to shout this with me today. We will do this many times in the message today. I am an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the most widely books read in English literature is the book called Robinson Crusoe. It's the story of an English seaman that gets shipwrecked on a private island. And he spends 28 years there before being rescued. Part of his experience while on the island is he rescues a native that was brought there by cannibals. And Robinson Crusoe saved this man's life from being eaten by cannibals. And because Robinson Crusoe saved him, he became Robinson's slave. Robinson Crusoe. 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 Robinson Crus
Gauchta Robinson Crusoe. He no longer belonged to himself, but he belonged to Crusoe. Imis gam romane ichs na agare kutunu da tavis tavs gachta Robinson Crusoe sakutreba. The man who saved him. Atsma romel mat ichs na is. Now I believe there's a parallel in this story. Da itzi drari arsevos paralleli am historia. This is also true of us. Da itzi chuen skore bashits igi vechteba. We have all been saved from something most more. More devastating than cannibalism. Kite oli chwenda gani gmert magwixna upro didi sagan vidrek anibalism ya. We were saved from hell. Chwen kwelani gadar cheni lebi wart jojo khetu sagan. We were saved from eternal damnation. Chwen gmert magwixna sauk unomsh jauri sagan. We have been saved from the enemies of God. Chwen gwixna gmert ma trebi sagan. And the Bible says because he died for all of us. That's why that's really amos imis gamorom is mok da kwelas twis. That we no longer live to ourselves. Chwen agar vts khorob tsak But we live for Him. That chain of scholarship, Jesus Christ. If you believe that, say Amen. To Amis Gjera Uskmamaglat Kui Amen. Now the Bible declares that we are here as diplomatic representatives of the kingdom of heaven. The Nakhad Rasam of Subinatzarele Titeuli Chuntagani Wart Diplomati Uritz Armo Madgenelik Merti Sameposi. In fact, the book of Philippians, Paul says that our citizenship is in heaven. The Philippel Tatzarelshi Paul Emot Skuliam of Sub Chuni Mukalakeubar is Zetsashi. And the book of Ephesians chapter 2 says we are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with the saints. Epistle the Meor. Now Gia, correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe the word "fellow citizens" in the Greek is "somopoliti." Somopoliti, as it is situated, bears no such thing as "mokalake." Which simply means we are politicians. As situated, nishna usrom chwens ragats politiko sebi wart. You are sitting next. To a politician today. Armo it gine guerze gizis politikosi. We are fellow citizens with the saints of God. Chuen wart khmertis tana mukalakeni. Therefore, aserom, we are royal representatives of the kingdom of God. Meri sitkwa minda chuen wart khmertis same pos same pots armo matgen lebi. Everybody put a big smile on your face right now. Meri darok welam gami himut echla i gami himut. God has set you here in this earth. For a purpose of representing His kingdom. Gmert maam de damit az mogat hausa erti mizaziz gamorom ichot sata same pos tsarmo matgeneli. We stand in His place. Chuen Yeso sadgil zevd gawar. We are here in His absence. Chuen yupali amag da zetsa da tres misi tsarmo matgenle biwa. To tell others about the ministry of reconciliation. From swa damian ebs mo kwat sheri gebis msakure bishe sakhe. Isn't that a wonderful calling? Chom shweni eri motso de bag merti. Isn't that a wonderful? Responsibility. What a privilege it is to be an ambassador in this world. Now I would imagine that most of you here this morning are citizens of the Republic of Georgia. Amen. Citizens of Georgia. I have a passport in my. In my That passport says I am a citizen of the United States of America. That passport says I am a citizen of the United States of America. That country. Magrab tkuesko kanashi arsebo ben adamian ebirom lebits. Dad geni lebiarian. Shwa kwek nizgan imis tusrom im shwa kwek anas tsarmo adgen nen. We are ambassadors for the Lord Jesus Christ. Tite uli chwen tangan it tsarmo gzauni lea erchi aris Kriste Yesosi. So if I'm an ambassador, I need to know what my Responsibilities are. The two me elchi waro gor tsvinat zareliam bos mashiru na vitso de rahari chemi pasukizm gebloba. If you are a An ambassador, you need to know what are your responsibilities. You see, an ambassador, it's taking the place of the leader that cannot be there. Is it elchiaris shemtsuleli im uprosisa im uprosit tsarum madgelisa kwekan romelis kwekanashia. My president, Donald J. Trump. Has ambassadors all over the world that represent him 
and our nation. Chems President Donald J. Trump. Schaus kuela kwe panashi umet es kwe panashi tsar tawis tsar mumad geneli romlebit tsar muad genen mas. He may be in Washington D.C. Ishe is leba Washington shia. But he has representatives all over the world. Magrab tem sopliu shi kaus tawis tsar mumad gen lebi. Somebody say hallelujah. Wadi vikat vin kuela mertat kwa alleluia. You see, there are ambassadors that are speaking and acting. In his place. It's a dar sebo ben elche birom lebi. It's misits arum madgen lebi arianda mis natkoams achmo anebe. Our God is in heaven. It's a chueni gmerti zetsashi. Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. Yeso zetseri arom is mamis marjunuzis. But he says, I've got some ambassadors in Tbilisi. Magram isam vosro met Tbilisi. I have ambassadors in Tavlia, Tavlia. Chaos be chemi tarum madgen lebi telavshi. I have ambassadors in Gori. Chaos tarum madgen lebi Gori. I have ambassadors. In Kutaisi, Khaus Aromad Gen Lebi Kutaisi, Batumi, Batumshi. I have ambassadors all over Georgia. Mem Khaus Chemin Aromad Gen Lebi Mtel Sakartulushi, representing the kingdom of God. Rom Lebi Tsar Muad Gen Ench Merti Samepos. Amen. Amen. Everybody say, I am an ambassador. Madi Kide Vert Khal Tukhe Mevar Elchi. Is this going to be good today? Rawitz Mem Goni Ro Isi Amon Emt Kaman Delim Sakure Bit. One, two, three, four, amen. Etis sami otri amini ko modi amini When I quit getting amens, it's when I sit down. It's it rode that amin shet what quit mets out gebi da douj debio. So you know how to set me down. Asorom tu mog mezr debi amini agar mitkar da mets douj debio. Everybody write this down or make a mental note. Number one. Tu vin me it ert chait ert ai es rats. Number one. Irueli risit kmat minda. An ambassador is a high-ranking minister of the state. Elchiaris magali taram de bobis piri. He's chosen from a royal family that is sent to another country. Romel sarza unilias kuakwe kanashi. And he is there to represent his home nation. Now we are all members of the royal family of God. There is no higher family in the universe. There is no greater royalty than God's family. And we are chosen from royalty to represent the kingdom of God in this earth. Amen. Amen. Let's let's go to number two. An ambassador is never elected. He is always appointed by the leader of the nation. You might say we are political appointees. Nobody voted us in. And thank God nobody can vote us out. I was picked by God. I was hand-picked by God. And so he must have faith in me to accomplish the mission. You know, every time a leader appoints an ambassador, there's people in his country that do not like that. It's it, Rodesas leader Irchev's Elch's Maybe they think they don't deserve that position. Maybe they're jealous of that position. But it doesn't matter. Thank God the Bible says that he has chosen us out of this world. And a leader does not have to have permission to appoint an ambassador. Everybody say this with me. I am a political appointee. Modi kuela merta chuen chemta merta gai meurat mevar politikurat dat genile. To represent the kingdom of God. Rom tsarmo wat ginog merti same po. Number three. Modi mesame unakot. An ambassador never becomes a citizen of the country that he has been sent to. Elchi arkhte ba kuekris mokalake. 
He remains a citizen of the country that he came from. He's in the country, but he's not of the country. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. Again, the Bible says our citizenship is in heaven. The moment we are born again, our citizenship is changed from this world to heaven. And the Bible says, my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. I may live in America. You may live in Tbilisi. But we are citizens of heaven. We are here, but we're not of this world. You might say we are foreign visitors. That's what I am in your country today. I'm a foreign visitor. But I've been here so many times, I feel like a Georgian. But I am a foreign visitor. And that's what you are in the kingdom of God. You know, Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. In fact, Peter says, uh, as aliens and strangers in the world, we should abstain from sinful desires. Actually, we are visitors in this world. We're just here for a short while. Our life is but a vapor. We're just passing through this world. Amen. Amen. Now, Darlene and I are staying at the hotel over here called the Holiday Inn. But when you walk into our room at the hotel, you don't see our pictures hanging on the wall. We don't have pictures of our grandchildren and pictures of our parents. And we don't have pictures of all of our friends at home. Because that's not our house. We're just visiting. Nobody goes to a hotel room and fills the walls full of pictures of home. See, we, we're just passing through. We need to get an attitude, ladies and gentlemen, that we're just here for a short while with a mission to represent the kingdom of God and declare the, the ministry of reconciliation. We're only temporary. My real home is in heaven. I'm just passing through. I'm a pilgrim and a stranger on our way to the heavenly. Number four. I like this one. An ambassador does not support himself. He pays for nothing because his needs are supplied from his home country. That ought to make somebody shout today. Am I in a Pentecostal church? Am I in a Pentecostal church? An ambassador relies on his home country to meet all of his needs. You see, our problem is we have become dependent upon one another. My God supplies all my needs. My God supplies all my needs.
when our president sends an ambassador to Tbilisi, Georgia. Rolde sa čujen ma prezident ma gamu akzal na elči Tbilisi sa kartoluši. He doesn't rely upon the resources of this country to meet his needs. Sula cara interesem skvek anas rogori rezulsebi ak šei na kaven tu ora elčs. Provides him with a place to live. Čujen ikvek anas runa usad it skhorep selči. Our country provides him with an automobile. Čujen ikvek anas uzruna kops automobilit. Our country provides him with food to eat. Čujen ikvek anas runa us rašče čams. And a nice Healthy salary. The argi jansa ki khel pasi chaks maso. We are in this world. Chuen kwek niere bazek iva. But we're not of this world. Mara mam kwek niere bisani aro. We are ambassadors of the kingdom of God. Chuen war dr merti same posel chebi. And God says, call unto me. Dr merti ambos mo mikme. Put your trust in me. Mo mende. Don't put your trust in horses and chariots. Nugen kde ban doba khemci pebev zeda jarze. But trust. In the Lord with all your heart. Ara upals mi and them teligulit. Our needs are not supplied by the local economy. Chweni sachiruve bi ark ma opil deba adgilo brivi economic. We don't have to depend on the National Bank of Georgia. Chweni ar war damu ki debuli sakar tulos bank zay. Or TBC Bank. Ant ar TBC Bank zay. And even if our country goes into depression. Ta chweni kwek anatski tu ragata. God will still supply for us like He does for the birds. And repression to Gomaro Bashi, Merti Israelnebs, Mortsmunebze, the birds. The birds are not concerned about tomorrow. They know provision will be there. Begure be arzunaven rashe chaven imitos roitsa. They know that provision will be there. They know 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 provision will be there. During the depression, Jer Arms men yar of Romeli me cheats. Tweet pele lo bi dais tule bi nos tau isi sitzot slaim is gamoro economic aritzudi. I never saw one bird standing in the bread line. Armi na kia cheat irogor dgas puris rikshi. God and God says you're more valuable than the bird. Da iya swam obso ramden beguraze ukete si khart. Look up, look up. Gmerz shekede. Our help comes from the Lord. Imi torob chuen ixna modi suplis agan. This may not translate, but I, you know, somebody said one time, but you don't know how many bills I have. Shele ba iskarga darga dayi tarum no sumagram. I have so many bills. Zog je rada mi am suga shen aritzi ram deni gada sakhadi maks. How can I sing if I have bills? Me rogor vi galob u galob u pals gada sakhadi maks. How can I whistle if I don't have bills? Rogor shemizli a galob agmum khte simit orom gada sakhadi maks. Can I tell you that birds have bills and they still sing? It's it rom chit eb sa tsaud gada sakhadi magram minds galoben. That translate? It does, yeah. Do they know what that means? No, it doesn't. They know. Ah, bills. Ah, chitebs. Amata niskarti da bills. Kada sa kad yerti da igiu yaksta. Chitebs at sakut kada sa kad niskarti umar mainz galubeno. Everybody say boo. Modu kala kud boo arga mugi vida waro. Why should we worry about tomorrow? Rato munda vidar dot khwalin dal dgaze. We are more valuable than the sparrows. Chuen begurebze uprodzuir pasni wart. We are Christ ambassadors. Chuen wart Christes el chebi. Matthew six says, take no anxious thoughts about tomorrow. Mate sakhare barasa mobs me ekse tawi nush potaut khwalin dal dgaze. The riches of God will never be depleted. It's it gamerti sagan zurebze vera motzurao. You know there is a reason that the government takes care of the expenses and the needs of the ambassador. It's it misesi abs am kola pesturato bzruna us Ameriki sel cho imazerom elts Arab neiri kasa chiri arkondis. The government cannot afford for you to be distracted by your personal needs. Ratom imitorom tauro bzruna us elts se imizgamorom elts aruna kondis kurat ge ba kapan tuli kovel dur sa zonari. They want you to stay focused on the country. Of your or the business of your country. Matu na trom im kwek anashi sadat im kope bi rogorts elchi zruna ude im kwek anashi arse bulim dgomare obit. So Jesus says it like Jesus says it like this. Da yesom nakhet rogort kwa. Why are you going to worry about where you live? Ratom shpot auti mazet sadat. Why do you worry about what you're going to eat and what you're going to wear? Ratom shpot auti mazet rauna chamo da rauna daliot. But if you'll seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, tu modzeb ne dgomerti same pos da misi martes. All these things will be added unto you. Danar cheni koveli veshege mate. May I suggest? That worry is simply a sign that you don't know who you are. Me obral dumi na gitra tush potau es nishaniya imisarob. Tsar modgenara gaksuvi nakhar Kristeshi. 
Everybody say I am an ambassador. Modi kid de vert khalkh mamagla tkui me var tsatazazupevlis elchi. Number 5. Mekhute. An ambassador's instructions are always in written form. Elchis instruktaji qovaltvis tserilobiti formisa. That way he should have no doubt about what he should do. Imitoro gaugebroba ar una mokhtes da Now, how many know in our laps we have the written instructions of God? And we should daily study the manual. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The only way the enemy can deceive us is when we are ignorant is when we are ignorant of the word of God. I wrote this what webs home terim terry what webs mashi wrote this agar with sit The scripture says my people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. So if you don't know what the manual says, you're not going to know what to do next. I don't know what to do next. An ambassador never represents himself. Everything he does represents his country. This is a very important statement right here. An ambassador never gives his personal opinions. If you ask an ambassador a question, he will always say, my country's position is this. We need to stay with the manual. Our opinion does not matter. What does the word of the Lord say? If somebody asks you about adultery, my country's position is this. My manual, the Bible says It is an abomination unto God. We don't water down the manual to appease our opinions. What do you think about homosexuality? My country's position is that it is, a, it is an abomination unto God. In other, words, in other words, an ambassador has no right to speak for himself. We say what our manual says. How do you What do you think about tithing? What do you think about missions? What do you think about giving offerings? Well, my manual says, the Bible says, and we say what the Bible says, not our opinion. Somebody say amen. You see, we are only a messenger. As an ambassador, we say what the manual says. And we have no authority to make compromise. Amen. Amen. Number seven. An ambassador does not live in the host country for his own personal interest. He is there to further the interest of his home country. This is a good one. You see, if he is insulted by somebody, he doesn't take it personally. As an, uh, as an ambassador, our function is to represent our country. So we have no right to hold a grudge if somebody doesn't like our decisions. And the Bible says that God is our defense. 
somebody doesn't like you, that's okay. Am I pleasing God? Am I following the manual? We are representatives of God. Number eight. Oh, you got time. An ambassador is the personification of the nation that he represents. Actually, the ambassador is a nation with two legs. You see, an ambassador loses his life and becomes a representation of that nation. Jesus says it like this. If you lose your life for the kingdom of God, you will save your life. If you lose your life for the government of God, you will gain your life. Amen. You see, if you go to the China, you have a Chinese embassy here? Yes, we do. So if you go to the China embassy and you meet the ambassador, you are actually meeting the nation of China. China So if you go up to that Chinese ambassador and you slap him, you are slapping the nation of China. Come on now. Let me, let, me, let me give you a scripture. Jesus, Jesus said to Saul, Why, Saul, are you persecuting me? Now, Saul wasn't assaulting Jesus in person. But he was assaulting the church of Jesus Christ. So when you are assaulted, when somebody doesn't like you, it's not you they don't like. It's who you represent. Because you represent the government of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. An ambassador is taught that if someone strikes you, you are never to take it personally. It's not because they're against you, they're against the kingdom you represent. Amen. Amen. Number nine. Metzre. Ambassadors do not live under the law of the host country. But they live under the laws of the country that they are from. This is a good one. Free from prosecution. They claim diplomatic immunity. When we are living in this earth, we don't have to accept everything that the devil throws in our face. Well, you live in this world, and this world is full of sickness and disease. This world is full of poverty and pain. This world is full of confusion and chaos. I'm from another world. I don't have to accept all that this world has to offer. My manual says that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. My Bible says I have been redeemed from the curse of the law. So I don't have to bow to the I don't have to bow my knee to sickness and disease. My wife was told in January of 2018 that she had cancer. But we declared immediately that cancer doesn't have her. 
She had cancer, but cancer didn't have her. And yes, she had to go through a minor sur a major surgery. But she's cancer free today. We don't have to bow to the laws of, of this world that we live in just because the flu is coming around doesn't mean that we have to accept it because my manual says no plague comes nigh my dwelling my manual says he gives his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways so we don't have to bow to the laws of the world system. We don't have to accept everything this world throws our way. I claim diplomatic immunity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Three more. Number 10. An ambassador should stay in daily communication with his country. His king or his leader may want to impart fresh news and revelation to him. It is vitally important that we as the ambassadors of the kingdom of God stay in touch with our heavenly leader. We should, we should, be, in in daily, we should be in daily communication with him. Amen. Number 11. And ambassadors' required duties include protecting the citizens of his homeland that are in that assigned country. If there is danger approaching, then the ambassador needs to keep the citizens advised. In 2008, we were doing a leadership conference in Yerevan. At the, end of the, at the end of that conference, we were to uh, uh, have, a, have a, some, a, a taxi take us from Yerevan to Tbilisi. We were told by the embassy, do not enter into Georgia. They said it's too dangerous for you to cross the border. Our hearts were broken. Everything within us wanted to violate the instructions of the leadership and come anyway. But they were, they, their intention was to protect the U.S. citizens. So it is an ambassador's responsibility to make the citizens aware when danger is approaching. We have an escape route that we need to let people know about. The Bible says that Jesus, the Jesus is coming back someday. And it's our responsibility to point them to heaven. There's one way to eternal life. There's only one door to heaven. I know it's not politically correct these days. But Jesus, Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the truth, the life. Jesus is the door to heaven. There is no other name given among men whereby we might be saved. It's up to us as ambassadors to point people to Jesus. This world will not last forever. It's going to come to an end. And we need to point people to Jesus. And the final one is number 12. When one nation declares war upon another one, 
The first ones to be removed are the ambassadors. Jer elche bit o ben kwe kanas da meres kwane. Is this good? Kom kargia. Do y'all get this one? Guess bit razo la paragraf. One day the trumpet of God is gonna sound. Dat geba dre da gais me bag merti sakweris kma. And the ambassadors are gonna be recalled. Da elche bi kene bi an ze atat sebule bi. One of these days. Sabin dat zeri li ambops. God is going to declare war. Rom gmerti gamuats khadebs oms. And the ambassadors of Christ are going to be removed. Da gmerti selche bi gawanile bi ikne bi anda rogorts Pavle ambos haerchi shegebebi anupals. And our reward will never fade away. Da itsit chweni jildo agar gadaivles. Our reward will never pass away. Chweni jildo agar gadawa. Because we've been faithful with the gospel of The ministry of reconciliation. You see, that's what ministry is all about. Telling the lost world that Jesus is no longer holding their sins against them. When Jesus rose from the dead, he opened up the prison gate. And he said, you are now free to walk out. The only condition is believing in your heart that Jesus was raised from the dead. It's such a simple ministry of reconciliation. God loves you this morning. He's no longer holding your sins against you. He wants to reconcile that relationship. What a wonderful ministry we have. Turning people from darkness to light. Turning people from death to light. That's what an ambassador does. Do we have any Christ ambassadors in the building today? Do we have anybody that's willing to get involved in the ministry of reconciliation? These twelve points that I gave you are just the benefits of being an ambassador. As tormented punct yaris shedegi, das is sargebeli, mas mere das Christiane begauchtet. But the real ministry is showing people the way to Christ. Marav rari namdulim sakure ba acho nu adam yanebs Christe sakan mimo valigza. So we need to understand we all have a ministry. Asalom chow na guest modes chow kwelas guak sakure ba. You may not be a bishop. You may not be a pastor. You may not be a Bible college teacher. But we all have the ministry of reconciliation. You hold an office of distinguished honor. You need to walk like dignity. You are somebody. You are dignity. We stand in his place to represent his kingdom in this earth. You are called. You are appointed. You are anointed to lead people, to share with people about Jesus Christ.